This morning, Pfizer says its new antiviral COVID pill taken within three days of symptoms reduced the risk of hospitalization or death by 89% in high-risk adults compared to a placebo. The company plans to apply for emergency use authorization as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Britain has become the first country to approve another COVID antiviral pill developed by Merck. The FDA will consider that later this month. It all comes as the Biden administration is launching a sweeping COVID vaccine mandate affecting 84 million people, two-thirds of the U.S. workforce. It requires companies with 100 or more employees to ensure they're either fully vaccinated against COVID by January 4th or tested weekly. Marty Walsh is the U.S. Labor Secretary. Why is it employers of just over 100 people? We thought to ourselves about what employers have the infrastructure to be able to handle something like that. Fines administered by OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, could reach nearly $14,000 per violation. Several GOP-led states are already planning to sue. In Houston, this supply chain logistics company is concerned about employees leaving because of the mandate in an already tight labor market. What's going on out there in many ways is a culture war, and this mandate puts employers, many of whom aren't very well equipped to deal with it, right in the middle of that culture war. All done. That debate comes as a rollout of a COVID vaccine for kids 5 to 11 years old is ramping up. That was not high at all. <laughs> in Chicago, six-year-old Amelia Ateca was one of the first children in the country to test positive for COVID last year, spending days on a ventilator. Now, she's finally vaccinated. It's going to benefit you. It's going to benefit your child. It's going to benefit your neighbor. Okay. Gabe, let's go back to this news this morning, the Pfizer pill. How soon could it become available to the public if the FDA approves it? Well, Savannah, uh, once again, Pfizer plans to, says it plans to submit uh, its results uh, to uh, the FDA for emergency use authorization as soon as possible. Its study involved more than 1,200 adults taking a pill twice a day over five days. But separately, Merck is also set to be considering, uh, the FDA advisory panel is set to be considering uh, Merck's uh, pill later on this month. So, Savannah, it could be weeks before some type of COVID treatment similar to Tamiflu becomes available. Savannah? Yeah, that'd be a breakthrough for sure, Gabe. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.